Tell me who could be the next one. Grave diggers, complex, death oath. And watch gay Pete kill a fucking note. Here we go. I'm cursed with the door. You was born. What's going on, what's going on YouTube? Me again, Torpedo. I know I've been gone for a while, but I've uh, been busy with work. Took a road trip to Cali to visit some family. Um, but I'm back now. Got a lot to show you guys, so I'm gonna cut this short and just jump right into this. Uh, this is Amazon Negro Edition Part Two plus VHS update plus other shit. So uh, here we go. Alucarda. I'm watching this right now. It's not in the case. Uh, put out by Mondo Macabre. Have not watched uh, much of it. Uh, got through like the first 20 or so minutes of it. So starting off kind of slow, but it's very, very strange so far uh, from what I've seen. So hopefully it'll start picking up. And next up we have The Devils, Ken Russell movie, kind of along the lines of uh, Mark of the Devil type movie, witch hunting and stuff like that. Uh, basically about this priest, uh, all the nuns actually love him, they're in love with him. Um, there's this one, the, the mother, the head uh, nun, is in love with him. She, her face is straight, but she's she's got a hunchback. Um, she discovers that he's going to be marrying someone else, so out of... Uh, like a jealous rage, she accuses him of uh, being a warlock and trying to possess her in her dreams. So he gets put on trial for being a, a warlock and uh, accused of associating with the devil and so on and so forth. So you can kind of guess how that goes. But uh, I enjoy this a lot. Not as much as Mark of the Devil. Um, the only reason I'm comparing it is because it's along the same same type of movie, kind of, sort of. But uh, I recommend that if you like witch hunting type movies. This is uh, Regurgitated Sacrifice. Funny thing, the day after I got this in the mail, uh, Lucifer Valentine actually subscribed to me. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool and I actually wrote that I just got this uh, right before he subbed to me and he responded back to me. And uh, if you talk to him, uh, if you know anything about him, knowing his beliefs and all that, uh, you wouldn't think... Uh, you know, he was, uh, he believed in what he believed and he was the way he was. He's a really cool guy. Um, can't really go into too much detail about this. Extremely gory. Um, not much of a plot. From what I got of it, there's a, it's, it's about this woman. I guess she was a hooker. Um, basically she wants to die. She feels like she deserves to die. Or something along those lines. There's a whole bunch of, uh, just insane imagery uh, Siamese twins getting separated at the head um, the gore in this is just ridiculous some of the best gore effects I've ever seen in any movie some of the most over over the top shit uh, drinking urine uh, a, a woman gets uh, a tarantula sewn into her vagina um, a severed head gets puked into and then it's the puke's all bloody, and I don't know, it's just, there's just so much going on in this movie, um, as I was watching it, I, I found myself, uh, on the verge of throwing up several times, but I didn't, and towards the end of the movie, I was like, yeah, you know what, I might be able to watch this again, um, very good film, uh, Mr. Parker, and I think, uh, 81 Oak Ridge reviewed this, um, so check out their reviews, but, this is the second in the, the Vomit Gore trilogy. Can't wait for the third. I've not seen uh, Slaughter Vomit Dolls, but I'll definitely pick that up. Next up we have uh, Darkness, the vampire version. have not watched this yet. Pick this up off. Uh, these are all Amazon purchases, by the way. And there's that. What's the inside? Pretty... Looks like it's going to be pretty gory stuff, so can't wait to watch that. And next up is uh, Ryan Nicholson's Hanger. have not watched this yet, unfortunately. But I loved Gutter Balls, so probably enjoy that. And then we have Kichiku. Saw this in uh, Mr. Parker and 81 Oak Ridge's videos, so decided might as well check it out. Looks pretty wild. That's Kichi Koo. And then we have Last House on the Beach, released by Severin. Like that cover art. Not watched this yet, unfortunately. And
And like it says on the back, I'm guessing it's like a last house on the left type of movie. Rape revenge, exploitation type deal. So, can't wait to check that out. Heard so much about this movie, Men Behind the Sun. Uh, I know Mr. Parker reviewed it. Several. I think he's got like the box set. So, I'm kind of going to be on the lookout for the rest of the movies. Might even get the box set myself, but have yet to check this out, but I can't wait, like I said. And then, Blizzard in a Woman's Skin. Lucio Fulci, Giallo. Uh, hear good things about that. Can't wait to watch it. Cannibal Apocalypse. Filmed by Antonio Margheti. Margheti. I don't know how to say that, but... <laughs> starring John Saxon. Saxon, excuse me. The Euro Shock Collection. Looks cheesy as all fuck. Is that? And then we have a box set. Uh, the films of uh, Jim Van Beber. Includes The Manson Family, which I watched. Uh, Deadbeat at Dawn, My Sweet Satan. I guess those are short films. Um, the Manson Family was a very good movie based on uh, the Manson family uh, killings. Uh, very graphic. There's a scene towards the end where they're torturing this family and they're just stabbing them up and the, it's just extremely visceral. Um, very good film. It's told from the perspective of uh, the Manson family. So, highly recommend this this film, this box set. I've not watched the other films, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're just as uh, interesting. So, that's that box set. It's released by Dark Sky, so that's always a good thing. Films of Jim Van Beber. That's that. And then this one I got strictly for the cover. I love this cover art. It's insane. It's incredible. Know nothing about the movie. The movie is probably trash. Probably straight butt, but picked it up for the cover, so oh well. Uh, and then I got some VHS to show you. I picked these up um, when I was down in California. We got uh, The Intruder Within. These are all $2, by the way. Intruder Within and a clamshell. Don't know anything about it, but picked it up. It's pretty interesting cover art. And then next up we have Popcorn, a film I've been wanting to get for quite a while. Trying to find it on DVD is uh, murder, but had to settle for the VHS. And then we have The Frenchman's Farm, the Magnum tape. Cool cover art there, of course. And then we have Creepazoids. Look at that cover art. It's pretty cool looking. The movie is probably trash, but oh, look at that mutated baby looking thing. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Death by Dialogue. That's a pretty dope cover, too. So, that's cool. Released by City Lights. Look like, looks like in 1988. So. Then we have Frozen Terror. Why does that look familiar? That picture. <laughs> Basket Case 3. Progeny. Another one that has eluded me on DVD. And Freeway 2. Uh, I've got the foreign DVD of that. Released by Tartan. Video quality is bad on that. Uh, I'm guessing this is probably better than that, even the video quality on that DVD is pretty shady, pretty shitty, but uh, more on this movie later, 
in another update. Uh, in the Company of Wolves, or The Company of Wolves, excuse me, another movie I've not been able to find on DVD, but here it is on VHS. Always love that cover art. And Robot Holocaust, released by Wizard Video. Another one I've seen in a lot of people's uh, horror VHS collections. Supposed to be cheesy as all hell. And then last but not least, Ghoulies 3. Ghoulies Go to College. Um, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next part. And hopefully I'll be getting up my... Uh, entry into 81 Oak Ridge's contest, even though it's probably too late, but I'll still put it up as far as my most uh, disturbing films in my collection, so stay tuned for that. Peace.